Hi there, this is Nianel, and I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to my weekly inspirational, motivational message. Today, I want to start off by reading a poem and see if you can know what I'm talking about before I give it away at the end. So this poem is anonymous. I'm not sure who wrote it. It just says anonymous. And this is how it reads. I am your constant companion. I am your greatest helper or heaviest burden. I will push you onward or drag you down to failure. I am completely at your command. Half the things you do, you might just as well turn over to me and I will be able to do them quickly and correctly. I am easily managed. You must merely be firm with me. Show me exactly how you want something done and after a few lessons, I will do it automatically. I am the servant of all great men and woman, an ally of all failures as well. Those who are great, I have made great. Those who are failures, I have made failures. I am not a machine, though I work with all the precision of a machine, plus the intelligence of a human being. You may run me for profit or run me for ruin. It makes no difference to me. Take me, train me, be firm with me, and I will place the world at your feet. Be easy with me, and I will destroy you. Who am I? Well, perhaps you already have an idea what we're talking about here, but this is your habits. This poem is, is dedicated to your habits. And I was just blown away when I read this poem. Because if you think about it, it is truly our habits that will define what we create on a daily basis. And so I had to look at my own life and I decided, okay, I think I shall make a list. A list of destructive habits and um beneficial habits you know instead of just focusing on my bad habits i thought let me just look at my beneficial habits as well you know just kind of balance things out a little bit so i want to invite you all to go and make a list make a list of those habits that is causing you um to not succeed in your life and the habits that is helping you to succeed i've realized that watching tv is truly one of my destructive habits when i watch tv after a while i start think, feeling lethargic i start getting tired and my goodness i can eat like someone who has an endless capacity <laughs> to hold food when i watch tv it's like i never feel satisfied or fulfilled and that is because while watching tv you become mindless and it is so important to be mindful. Mindful when you rest. Mindful when you um, eat food. Mindful when you spend time with your family. And watching TV is definitely a mindless <laughs> act. And I have found that quite often when you are just mindlessly sitting there staring at the TV, that is when you can eat huge amounts of food without feeling satisfied. You can sit next to your whole family without feeling a connection with them. You can sit there for hours feeling not rested, although you tell yourself that you are resting. And so for me, one of the most destructive habits in my life would be watching TV. And so now I'm going to have to create a new habit, something that is beneficial, something that serves me. And although I enjoy watching every now and again, um, a really good movie. I'm going to create a habit where we watch a few good movies over the weekend, but be strict and firm with our habit during the week. Um, 
avoid eating in front of the TV, you know, make time to spend time around the table and have the meals there. And truly, when we are um, mindful of our habits, we can see where it is that we fail and why it is that we succeed. And it's always our habits that will help us either fail or succeed. So here's a little exercise. Go write down all your beneficial habits, all your destructive habits, and this just takes practice. Practice, practice, practice. Your subconscious mind is a habitual mind. That is where you store all the limiting beliefs and all the in, um, ancestor beliefs, which is at the back of your brain. It's a storage room and its main job is to keep you safe. And it's a habitual mind, so it learns through habit. To change limiting subconscious belief, you have to create new habits. You have to start thinking differently, speaking differently, tell a new story, acting differently. And all of that has to be in an alignment with what you do want instead of what you don't want. So make a list of what it is that you want. Focus on all the things you want and create habits that you ritually um, practice daily daily practicing these habits until you eventually create what it is that you want in your life now i remember about three years ago i decided i am going to not watch tv anymore i spend so much time every time i didn't work i would go and flop down in front of the tv and then i would do that eating myself into another dimension because I'm also tired and I feel that sitting in front of the TV is going to make me feel um, rested and then I eat and I don't feel fulfilled and I don't feel satisfied. Ooh, and now we have all the dogs barking <laughs> but I'm going to leave this in this recording um, because I think that they are just confirming what I am telling you. We have to be mindful of our habits. When I implemented new habits about three, uh, three years of my life, I stopped watching TV and I reached my perfect weight. I was so happy. I spent time meditating in the evening, taking nice long baths. I did my yoga every evening. I slept well because I did my yoga every evening because I had these little habits that I did ritually. I felt amazing. And then, yes, life happens and we just kind of learn new habits and we let go of the good ones. But everyone knows what is good for you and what's not good for you. And that just takes a little bit of mindfulness and practice. So I believe in you. I believe in myself. I'm inspired by this poem and I am going to focus on practicing habits that is beneficial, uplifting and inspiring in my life. Best of luck to you with this new practice that we are going to do. And before we know it, we are going through our habits, create the lives. The lives that we deserve, are worthy of and absolutely desire. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Remember, you are amazing. Keep on shining and you are so, so loved.